Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I told you guys I was going to feature some of the black owned products that I showed you guys in my last haul. So for example, Camille Rose, and then I also have um, Curl Dynasty with me. Um, so I actually want to do a two in one. So I'm going to be doing one side of my head with curls and then the other side with Curl Dynasty. And I want to see which side gives me the best twist out. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing a twist out with two different black owned hair care brands. So the products I'm going to be trying out today are Curls Poppin' Pineapple Collection, their leave-in, and their Curl Defining Jelly. I'm a bit nervous because I normally don't use just a gel and leave-in. I actually, I actually like to use a leave-in, a moisturizer, and an oil. So this is a little bit of a different combination for me. It seems like, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be too light for my hair, but we'll see. And then... On the other side of my head, I'm going to be using Curl Dynasty's um, Smoothie Leave-In and their Twisted Definition Cream. And because I do not have an oil from their line, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Shea Butter Mix that I made. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. Just bear with me. Um, I'm going to use my Shea Butter Mix to seal in Curl Dynasty's products because I do need something to lock it in or it's just going to evaporate and my hair's gonna be dry so i need to lock it in with something oh this is this is going to be interesting so i'm going to be using black owned products on my hair my hair is about three weeks old it is so so messy so dry so itchy and it needs to be washed so that's what i'm gonna be doing today so because my hair is so old um, I don't think Curls shampoo is going to do a good job with cleaning my hair because it isn't a clarifying shampoo, it's a moisturizing shampoo and if you're familiar with the two, if your hair is really really dirty, do not use a moisture shampoo. At least for me, I never have luck, it kind of just slips off my hair and it doesn't clean it. So I'm going to stay away from moisturizing shampoos for this. I want to start with a fresh clean head of hair and a clean scalp so that way these products can really get into my hair and that way I can do a proper review on the two lines. So my hair is just tied up. Um, I had a really old twist out and then eventually I decided to wear it in a bun and um, I've been wearing my hair in a bun for about a week now and I've been using my silk hair ties that are available in my online store. These things are amazing. They're so smooth and they have an amazing stretch. I don't know if you guys can see that amazing stretch. They don't pull on your hair. They don't dry it out because it's made of 100% silk. So it keeps your hair very, very soft and moisturized. All that good stuff. And then of course, I sleep with a bonnet or a satin scarf from my online store as well. So this is what my hair looks like. I just want to show you guys what my hair looks like before I go in the shower and wash it it's very stretched out it kind of a little bit lifeless the curl pattern of my twist out is still kind of there in some areas but for the most part it is pretty dry i probably got some knots in there once it's wet and there's conditioner and stuff in it um it should be okay all right so i'm gonna hop in the shower um, I do have a full wash day routine video coming for you guys very soon. So I'm going to just hop and shower, wash, shampoo, shampoo, condition my hair, and I'll be back. And we will start with the styling. Well, applying the product and styling, detangling, all that stuff. Um, and we'll see what my results are. So I just washed my hair and I did use the shampoo just for one section of my hair. But then I was kind of feeling like I don't think this is going to work. So I decided to use something else. Um, just because my hair was so so greasy because it's been like three weeks since I last last washed it um, So I can't really talk about this too much, but from what I did feel it felt pretty good um, It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. It smells so good um, then I followed up with um, The curl mask so the curl mask isn't actually a mask at least for me I don't know about you guys, but this feels like a conditioner for me. So I was super duper duper um, disappointed because I hate conditioners because they don't work on my hair they leave my hair feeling dry I don't know what it is about my hair and conditioners they do not work I have to use a deep conditioner or a mask so I picked up this and I I thought it was a curl mask but it's a, it definitely felt like a conditioner like the lightest conditioner that I have ever tried in my life. So yeah, it didn't do anything for my hair. My hair feels really dry. It looks dry and I'm really disappointed because usually after I condition my hair, my hair has so much definition, so much shine, so much bounce, but it's dry. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's dry. And you can see some curl to it, but it's dry. And it's just, I'm so disappointed. Uh, okay. So I do not like their curl mask. It's not a curl mask, at least for me. It is a conditioner and it didn't do anything for my hair. It probably works better on other people. I don't know, but it, it my hair just looks so dry. And it doesn't feel, it, I don't know. It just feels like I just shampooed it pretty much. Yeah. That's, that's what it feels like. So we are gonna move on because <laughs> I need to because my hair is dry. So I'm gonna split my hair into four sections and I will be back. So I should have said a little bit more about the conditioner. So I used about, uh, it's hard to tell, but I use about this much, if that, about that much. I feel like this would last me maybe a month. So not much time with this. Um, and I don't like, I kind of don't like it in a bottle. I kind of prefer the jar where I can dip out. Um, but that's just me. It was really hard to detangle my hair because the conditioner did not, didn't penetrate my hair. It was kind of just sitting on. <sighs> yeah, it's a lot of negatives for me. But um, it smells really good. That's about it. And the packaging is really pretty and you know. But let's move on to the other stuff. I'm really, I'm kind of scared to try the other stuff. I'm actually really scared um, because yeah so i'm gonna go in and mist my hair with my sb mist spray bottle link is in the description and i'm just going to mist my hair because it honestly feels extremely dry so all right so now that my hair is moist i think i need to make this section smaller it's too big I'm gonna try Curl Dynasty right now. Let's see what Curl Dynasty does for me because right now I'm not liking curls because of that mask. So let's try Curl Dynasty and hopefully my hair can come back to life. So I'm gonna go in with their leave-in. If none of this stuff works, I'm just gonna give it away because yeah. So I'm using about this much. Ooh, it smells nice has like a light floral scent. Let's apply that to the section. It's a really thick leave-in, so I'm not sure if this needs to be paired by itself or with something. Yeah, it seems like it can be used on its own. I'm trying to work this thing in. It seems to be doing pretty good. I'm able to detangle my hair with my hands, even though the conditioner that I just used was awful. Um, I think the curl dye in Dynasty might be saving my hair. Okay, and it smells really good. Ooh. Like the smell gets stronger when it's actually in your hair, which I really like. Um, it was kind of light when I smelt it um, in the bottle. So I'm going to go in with their definition thingy. And this is also really, really thick. I'm hoping that the two, uh oh, do the two mix together? Uh oh. I hope that they do, because this is going to be a problem. All right, so I'm applying that directly on top of the leave-in. This is pretty much what I would normally do with my products. Yeah, they do mix well together. That's good. I was afraid just now. Okay. Seems to be doing pretty good. So I'm going to go in with my detangler brush. And again, available on my online store. And I'm going to detangle. Angle. So that section is nice and detangled. Um, it feels pretty good. So I'm going to follow up with my shea butter. My hands are just sliding through. So yeah, seems like this is a really good combination. The three products I just used seems to be pretty good. Okay, I'm happy again. I'm going to split this section into two and I'm going to create two twists in this section. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and twist up these two sections and I will be back. All right, you guys, so I just did two twists and I have to say That was the door. We have the windows open, so it's kind of windy. Um, so I have to say that the two products or the three products that I just used, but mainly the Twisted Definition, I guess, cream and the leave-in, those two mixed together make a wicked combo. Like it's like a thick, soft buttery cream and then of course sealing it in with a nice heavy shea butter mix it's like 
amazing so my hair feels really really good it looks really shiny yeah it's just simple two strand twist and i'm excited to see how this side of my head is gonna look i'm nervous for what's gonna happen on this side i'm actually really really scared so yeah so far so good so i'm gonna go ahead and continue doing the rest of my hair on this side and i will come back and show you guys what we're working with on the other side all right you guys so i finished doing this side of my head let me show you so i did this side of my head probably can't really tell what it really looks like but to be honest it feels really really good um, it looks moisturized feels moisturized and i'm really loving the combination on this side i'm actually super afraid to put the curls products on this side because it is a leave-in and it is a gel and i don't use those two things together without a moisturizer <sighs> i'm going to put it on the back section of my head just so i can get an idea of what is happening so that way i don't mess up my entire right side of my head i'm gonna have to finger detangle first before i can put a comb or brush in this nest it is so dry. I, I have never experienced this. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the leave-in by Curls. And, ooh, yeah, this is definitely a leave-in. Ah, oh, my gosh. I'm scared. It smells really good. Okay. All right, so this section is quite big, so I've definitely got to go back in and get more product. Actually, I'm going to make this section smaller because it's quite big and it's a little bit hard to work with. I'm going to work this product through. It's, it's a lot lighter than um, the Curl Dynasties uh, leave-in. That's for sure. Smells better. Very fruity. Okay, not too bad. Actually, it's feeling pretty good so far. So I don't know if I should use the jelly and the oil or just the jelly or just the oil because I feel like my hair is going to be super dry in a few days because this is so light and I'm used to using like really heavy, thick. I don't really layer my stuff on so that way it lasts me all week long. But this is super light. I'm not sure what's going to happen. But let's look in the mirror. My hair looks pretty good. My hands are gliding through pretty good. So I'm going to follow up with the jelly. And I use that much. Jelly smells good. This is probably more for a wash and go and not a twist out, but uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. These two products do not mix together. It's getting all clumpy in my hands. Oh, great. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. These two products do not mix together. I don't know why they're not mixing together. But my hair is white and my hands are white. This is not good. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what to do right now. Okay. So I'm only putting it in this section because my whole entire head is about to be flaking and very very nasty so i mean my hair is really easy to detangle that's for sure but for some reason the combination just i don't know why it's clumping okay well it feels good my hair does feel good um is there any definition slight definition but i'm gonna go ahead and twist this section up. I'm confused on why it went lumpy. Because I wiped off my hands from the other products. There's just a little bit of definition, nothing crazy. But I, I don't know why it was clumping up. It doesn't seem to be doing it right now, but it did clump up as soon as I um, applied the products to my hair. Again, still not as soft and moisturized as the other side. So you can kind of see. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of my head. you guys before this camera dies so this side was done with curls this side was done with dynasty so this is what my hair is looking like it's still very wet to sleep at night i either would use a satin bonnet or one of my satin scarves 
Um, I'm definitely gonna rock this for about two days and I probably will style it with a satin scarf. I'll insert pictures of me wearing my scarves. I love wearing them with twists. And then I will be back in two days to show you guys how my hair looks, how it feels, how it smells, everything. Uh, I'm not a fan of the oil from Curls. It has a minty smell. It went from being very fruity and fun to very, I don't know, mellow and minty. And yeah, I kind of didn't like that switch up, but it's all good. Um, so it started off a little bit rough. Um, I didn't like how my hair was looking and feeling and then it was turning white. But I realized once I started to really work the product in, it kind of just went clear. So um, it's right, it's white right now because it is wet and I also have low porosity here. So that tends to happen a lot. Um, I probably will blot out some of it and that would be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the video and I will be back in about two days. Hey guys, so it is a few days later. It's not two days later. I said I was gonna come back to like two days later, but you know, life got in the way. So it's about four days later, so I don't know how my hair is going to be. But I will say the, the past four days have been really good. My hair has been looking really, really shiny. It's been feeling really soft. So let's take a look. So at night, I just covered my hair with my um, SB Satin Bonnet. Uh, link will be down below. And that's pretty much what I would do. Just throw on this at night. I also have a silk pillowcase, but... Um, for the most part, it was my bonnet. They feel really good. I'm gonna use a little bit of the oil to take out my twist because that's what I normally do anyways. All right, so I just put a tiny bit of oil on my fingers just so that way um, I don't cause any frizz when I'm taking down these twists. So, I'm gonna start with the back. And so far, I mean, my hair still smells pretty good. Um, it still looks really good, so that's good. So that's one twist out. I'm gonna... Go ahead and separate now. I don't even remember what I do. I haven't done a twist out in so long. You want to split where it naturally wants to separate. There's definitely some frizz happening. Um, this is four days later, so. So I'm not going for a super defined twist out. I kind of want some frizz because I want it to be nice and fluffy. Uh, my hair feels really good on this side. I will say that my hair feels really moisturized. So that's really good. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed. And I was telling you guys before too that Curl Dynasty stuff Putting it in felt really good and then after I twisted up my hair, my hair looked really, really good. If you do get some frizz on your ends, all you need to do is take a little oil and then just coil it around your fingers and it should be fine. Okay, so this side so far is feeling really good and it's looking pretty good. Alright you guys, so this is Curl Dynasty side. Am I saying that right? Curl Dynasty? Yes. So this is Curl Dynasty and my hair feels really, really good. I want to say that the front portion of my hair in the middle, love these products. The back of my hair, I want to say it's kind of on the high porosity side. I don't know, I gotta figure out what's going on with the back section of my hair. But it still feels good, just not as good as the front and the middle. The back of my head is a little bit of a different texture than the front and the middle. Um, it's a lot tighter, the coils. Um, and also it just reacts to products a lot different. So you can have more than one porosity in your head. and That's what I have. But it looks pretty good. I definitely need to get my hair shaped. Yeah, I need to get my hair shaped. My hair feels really good. Like, it feels so, so good. Like, this actually might be better than my can too. Wow. I did, however, use my Shea Butter Mix um, to seal it all in. So that could play a role. But when I was applying Curl Dyn Dynasty's products, my hair felt so good. So I knew it was going to be good with or without my um, Shea Butter Mix. But yeah, it feels really good. Not as, I guess, full as I was thinking it was gonna be, but also I had these twists in for a very long time. So that's probably why it's a lot more flat, but it feels good. So that's what that's looking like. If you guys can kind of see the texture. A lot more frizz in the back because of how my hair reacted to the products in the back. Um, more definition in the front, I wanna say. Lots more definition in the front. Um, but overall, I'm liking it. So definitely two thumbs up for right now. I'm going to start on curl side and see what's happening here. So let's grab a piece. So, so far my hair feels okay. Just gliding it onto the twist. Um, Alright, let's undo this. So you guys know on the curl side, I didn't have a, I didn't have a moisturizer. Um, I just had a leave-in and a gel and an oil, and that's pretty much what I used in my hair. So far, again, the back section is a little bit different for me, so I'm not going to judge the back just yet. I'm going to wait till I get to the front, and then I will say what I'm thinking. 
So I'm gonna grab a piece from the front so that way I'm not taking up too much time. Let's get a piece right here and let's see how this feels. So it feels like, just feeling the twist, it feels really moisturized. So that's really good. Looking at my hair, my hair looks really, really shiny, very black, which is a good sign. Um, when your hair looks really, really black or really, really dark, um, it's a good sign that your hair is moisturized. If your hair looking, if your hair looks gray or dull, um, it's a sign that your hair is probably not properly moisturized. And I was very heavy handed with these products because um, I want to make sure that my hair really got the product. So, so far, I think this side is actually pretty good. I want to say that putting the products in, I wasn't really feeling it. My hair wasn't feeling very moisturized, but after um, putting it in and leaving it for the four days, my hair feels pretty good. So that could be a little bit tricky. Because at first I'm thinking, okay, this is not good, it's not going to work, but it feels pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to continue doing my hair and I'll be back. Alright, you guys, so this is Curls and this is Curl Dynasty. Um, I don't know. From the from the camera, I feel like they both look pretty similar. I want to say I got a lot of definition in the front from Curls. I'm going to come in closer so you guys can see some crazy definition. That's probably because of the gel. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I got some really good definition from curls on this side and if I look at curl dynasty I got a lot more frizz but my hair is softer my hair is drier on this side softer on this side more moisturized on this side definition on this side more frizz on this side like it's a, I don't know so it all depends on what you want your hair to look like I like my hair to be soft and defined which is a little bit of this and a little bit of that so now I'm wondering if I can mix the two products together and if I can get what I want, soft but defined hair. So maybe I'll try that next. So yeah, when I step back, this is what my hair looks like. You can see I got some good definition in some parts on this side. Um, but there is some frizz, which is not terrible. My hair feels really good though. So I know my hair is moisturized. But also me keeping my twist in for, you know, four days was, was pushing it. So um, I definitely want to try this again and only keep my twist in for about a day or two and see what my results would be like. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I will say that my roots are very frizzy, so I'm probably going to go in with a little water, a little bit of my shea butter mix, um, just to smooth it out. Probably bobby pin it here. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better. Alright you guys, so I want to share with you guys my final results and of course my final thoughts on both of the lines. And I guess what's, which, uh, what were my favorite products and what were my least favorite. Um, so this is what my hair looks like. I did add a little bit of water and sh my shea butter mix to the front of my hair. Two bobby pins and um, a bobby pin in the back just so that it doesn't look so crazy in the back. So that's what we're working with. So overall, I really like how my hair looks. Um, which side do I like better? I don't know because I got a lot of definition here. I got the softness and the moisture on this side, so it's really hard to pick. Um, but to be honest, okay, let's say Curls, Curls Dynasty. I'm just going to say Curls Dynasty just because the moisture is there, the shine is there, um, and I think I can get the definition there if I don't leave my twist in, if I don't leave my twist in for so long. So I think this side would overpower this side in the end. So my favorite product from this line um, honestly I love both the leave-in and the moisturizer um, I don't know if they have an oil I definitely want to try it out if I if they do have one but he honestly both of those two products were so creamy so buttery so moisturizing I like both of them there's nothing I can't complain about their stuff um, let me see how much what it smells like again uh, da, da, da. It has like a floral citrus scent. It's different. I've never smelled anything like this. Um, it doesn't smell bad. The products are a little bit on the pricey side, but they work. So I would buy this. Um, this side, I didn't like their conditioner, their mask. Yeah. So that was that would probably have to be the worst product from their line. Their leave-in was nice. The smell of their products were amazing. The only thing I didn't like was the smell of their oil just because they went ahead and added that minty um, scent to a tropical sweet fruity you know mix so 
first you start off with something really sweet and fun and then you threw in like mint so it kind of killed the scent a little bit but that would have to be the only issue i had was the scent which is not a big deal and their stuff i don't remember what their prices are i want to say it's a little bit cheaper than these guys i think i'm not 100 percent sure um i also didn't care for the mask the conditioner being in this type of bottle i prefer to dip my hand and dig it out um, I don't like having to, you know, shake and um, have to squeeze it out. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that, but that's just my opinion. But honestly, both lines were great. I will use both of them. I will. I don't even have to give these away. I like them. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep using both of these lines till they're done. Um, and I definitely will be repurchasing re some of these. Um, one thing I do want to try is Curl's um, leave-in and gel because I got such a great definition with these two on a twist out I'm curious to see how a wash and go would look um, Let me know if you guys want to see a video I really want to see how a wash and go would be the moisture is not too bad So I think I'll be okay with a wash and go, but I feel like I need to throw in a moisturizer So maybe I can find something from curls and throw it into the mix because I really like to layer on my products As you can see I got that softness because I had a leave-in I had a moisturizer and I had an oil here We only have a leave-in basically and an oil the gel. I don't really use to do twist outs I like my moisturizer. So I think if I had that it would be a bomb mix, but Overall, I liked it. Um, nothing really to complain about other than smell, maybe the bottle, and then on this side, um, I'm not even going to complain about the price. Your, their price is the way it is for a reason, so I'm not complaining about prices. Um, I like both. You guys can tell as well. I'll try and insert some photos as well, just in case you can't really see. But the definition on this side was very, very nice. So you can't even tell that I use two different brands. Is That's crazy. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Check out my online store. I have a sale going on. I always have sales going on. Um, a really great sale going on. Check it out. You'll find lots of goodies. My bonnets, my scarves, my pillowcases, my brushes, my silk scrunchies, which are amazing. Yeah, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Comment, leave me a comment, suggestion. What hairstyles you guys want to see? I love doing twist outs. It's very easy to do. I hate braid outs. Please don't say braid outs because I don't like doing them. Um, wash and go. I need a flat iron in my hair. It's long overdue. Um, but yeah, that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.